There's nothing I could say to him other than his suit needs to be let out a few inches. Right. All right, blow him. Whoa, feels like the AC kicked in. All right, that's it. Ah, uh, door. Nothing important back there. Ah, crap. So, I can switch to Rosa, and then we call... Gal. Oh, the phone is in there. The phone is in the drawer. I, I see it. Ken? Looks like a love letter, and it's signed Tiffany. Sounds like our boy Ken knew Tiffany after all. Last night was the most magical night of my life. I never knew I could feel this way. I'll be dreaming of you tonight, XOXO Tiffany. Okay, got it. Come on in. The puzzle is actually really clever. The puzzle is actually really clever. You know what? The puzzle is actually really clever because you have to use both characters, right? Except that the game doesn't constrain you to the puzzle. The game doesn't... You know, there's a, I mean, the, the puzzle is interesting, but there's like four or five other locations and, and four or five other people that you can talk to which don't give you anything useful. So then only like at most only 20% of the game is interesting at, at this particular moment. And instead of locking you into the interesting part so that it's 100% interesting, it lets you waste a lot of time going to the other stuff so then the game is only 20% interesting. Does that make sense? Like if, if, the, if the game locked us into this puzzle and, and prevented us from doing the other things, or at least told us that the other things are not interesting right now and that everything we need is here, if the game somehow communicated that or forced us into it, then it, the game would become more interesting because there's less wandering around aimlessly, do you understand? And that's again, that's a problem with adventure games, right? Like if you have a shooter, you have a gun, you have the enemy, you know what you need to do right there is you use the gun to shoot the enemy. It's like, you can't just wander off and waste your time. Although you can, but you won't because the game makes, makes it very clear to you what the problem is and what the solution is, right? The problem is the bad guy, the solution is the gun. And so you don't think to look anywhere else. I mean, I mean, adventure games, the interesting parts are more interesting than other games. But a lot of the time, the interesting parts are also a very small part of, of what you can do and you don't know where you're supposed to be going. Uh, anyway, let's stop rambling. That's an interesting picture up there. I don't recognize the band. Well, you wouldn't. That was my dad's group, but they haven't been together since the 60s. What happened to them? They died. They died, I think. What? He never talked about it much. <laughs> All right. Who's that man in the photograph? Him? Uh, that's my dad. He and I started this place um, about 20 years ago. He's retired now, but he pops his head in sometimes. So, tell me, Ken. Why do you have a letter from Tiffany in your desk? Rick. What? Oh, what is this? Are you sneaking in here while I'm not around? Is that it? Maybe I'm just psychic. Yeah? Well, maybe I'll just call the police. I just want to find out what happened to Tiffany. Look, whatever happened to her, it had nothing to do with me. Maybe you're right, but maybe you can tell me what happened so I can decide for myself? <sighs> you're a real piece of work. Yes, uh, I am. Go on. Ask what you want. <laughs> All right. So, tell me about Tiffany. Look, you breathe a word of this, and I'll have the police on you so fast it'll make your head spin. Lips are sealed. Yeah, but you're a black right. guy. Yes, they'll, I need to. They'll shoot you instead. You probably guessed that we were involved. I gathered that. I was working late. We were doing spots for a new TV commercial, and she volunteered to help out. I thought she just wanted the overtime, but turns out she wanted something else. Look, you know, look, look, there's a black man. And there's a white woman. The police are called. The police turned up. What do you think is going to happen? The black guy is going to get shot. Is what's going to happen? It is the United States here. You know what I mean? <laughs> so she came on to you? Yeah. She wouldn't take no for an answer. Look, I'm a married guy with two kids. I know it was wrong. 
I just couldn't help myself. It was like a drug. Of course, the girl was completely crazy. I should have noticed that right off. Why do you keep the letter if the relationship is over? I don't know. Nostalgia, maybe? It was nice at the beginning. She was crazy, but she saw something in me. I suppose I still want to hold on to that. Especially now that she's, you know, gone. Crazy? How so? My God, the girl was obsessed. Showing up at the office at all hours, stalking me, calling my house at night. She kept saying we were destined to be together, that it was fate. Even when I tried to break it off, she wouldn't take no for an answer. God, what a nightmare. I should have broken it off long before I did. So you did end things with her? God, yes. I had to. Even if I wasn't a married man, the woman was a complete head case. Talking about the stars and fate and destiny. She even started calling me Turtle Dove. What a nightmare. Turtle Wait. Dove? Yeah. So I buckled down and ended it. And she didn't take it well. I had to get a restraining order put on her. I've learned my lesson, that's for sure. No more tents. And definitely no more affairs. My life is with my wife and family. You do look a little bit like a turtle. Just saying. So you're through with Tiffany completely? Yes. I'm sorry she's gone, but I'm glad she's out of my life. What a total embarrassment she was. Well, thanks. See you around. Um... How... So I mean, now can we talk to her? It seems like we shouldn't have to do that, just to confirm that he doesn't want anything to do with her and that he is married and has two kids. It seems like we had to do an extra thing just to... Stay close to the door, Red. I'm heading in. After you, Joey. Something that we already knew. Hello again. What? Look, you're gonna have to face facts. Ken is through with you. You're lying. Deep down, he still loves me. He just can't admit it. He told me himself. I don't believe you. I don't believe you. Why do you think Sterling fired you? I don't know. He never liked So. I okay, let me just go back out of... Turtle dove. <laughs> you called Ken your turtle dove, right? That's private. How did you know about that? He told me himself. All this mooning? He thinks it's pathetic. He... what? It's over, kid. You want my advice? Forget about him and get on with your... Well, you need to get over him is all I'm saying. I... no. I need to hear it from him. Just one more time. From him. Hey, wait a sec! Is she's gonna go over there? Let me guess. That was Tiffany. Why didn't you stop her? Because I can't touch ghosts? Right, forget it. Let's just get after her. <laughs> it's okay, Ken. I won't tell your wife, I promise. Come on in. Amazing. So you're through with Tiffany completely? Yes. Like I told you, I'm sorry she's gone, but I'm glad she's out of my life. What? What a total embarrassment she was. Embarrassment? Ken, you don't mean that. Do you mean that? Of course I do. With that squeaky, lovey-dovey voice and the way she'd throw herself at me in public. I thought you liked it! You'd think a guy would like that kind of attention, but she was so needy and desperate about it. Desperate? I was not desperate! It was fate! She said we were destined to be together, that it was fate. I don't believe what I'm hearing. We're supposed to be together! Gavin said so! Uh. I don't know why I didn't end it right then and there, but like an idiot, I just kept being reeled back in. I gave up everything for you! I gave up... I gave up my life for you! She thought I'd give up my entire life for her, but that was crazy. I only hope she found some happiness before she died. Died? Died? Am I dead to you? Is that it? 
I, I can't even look at you. I've got to get out of here. I need air. You, you don't really. Did you feel that? Feels like the AC kicked in. Anyway, take my advice. You meet a guy you like, don't smother him. He'll just run away. I'll keep that in mind. Well, I think that's everything. Thanks again, Ken. Sure. You know, feels kind of good to talk about it. And I am. Uh, well, I hope you'll be discreet about it. Don't worry. Mm. Okay. Hi. Tiffany? You think I'm pathetic, don't you? Oh, no. Not at all. I do. Why did I act like such a love-struck little girl? I don't know. We all act stupid sometimes. Jesse, you. Not like this. I couldn't stop myself. Why? Just because Gavin said we should be together? Gavin? Is that the psychic who told you to stick with Ken? Yeah, and I believed every last word. Why would I believe something so stupid? Ken was all I thought about. When he told me it was over, I was just angry I couldn't be with him. Gavin told me not to worry, that it was destiny, that we'd be together. It took me over. I wouldn't get out of bed. I just stopped. I'm sorry. I need to get out of here. How do I get out of here? Uh, touch my tie, will you? Hey, Tiff, I got something for you. What is it? It's something to help you on your way. Just one minute. <laughs> what are you Look doing? At him, looking at his desk like. Nothing's happened. I'm ready. It feels good. The light, I mean. It feels good. Just head towards it. That's all you need to do. It feels like... It feels like Gavin. Isn't that strange? Ew. Believing his words, accepting the lie, it felt good. Wonderful. I want to hate him, but I can't. It's like it doesn't matter. We'll get to the bottom of this. I promise. Do you know where we can find him? No. He'd come over to my place. He'd talk, and it all seemed so clear. That's all I can remember. It's all fading. You better go. Thank you. I, I don't know what else to say. No need to thank us. It's what we do. Well, I guess this is it. She all taken care of? Yeah, I think she'll be all right. At least, I hope so. This makes no sense, Joey. Hey? Her death. It was so pointless. Who said there had to be a point? She didn't even like Ken. Not really. Haven't you ever been in love? That's not what I mean. You don't just die of a broken heart. Not literally. Maybe. Maybe not. But whoever this Gavin guy is, he put her up to it. I think we owe our friend Lisa another visit. Okay, well, we... Solved both of the dead people. I don't know how much more of this there is. Part of me wants to keep going, part of me wants to take a break. Let me just go, oh, let's just plow through it. Let's just plow through it. Yes. Hi, Lisa? Yes. I've learned something about Gavin and Tiffany. I don't want to say it out here on the street. Can I come in? Yes. And that's it. Gavin told her to throw herself at this man, and it destroyed her. Tiffany, you should have seen her when she walked in here. So lost, trying to find her place in life, drifting from job to job, never finding what she wanted. She was a woman who wouldn't let herself be happy. Was her aura blocked as well? Look, she needed to believe that her unhappiness was beyond her control. I gave that to her. You hear that? She's doing a public service. Judge me if you want, but she came to me. And then you sent her to Gavin. Yes, I did. Her, and the other one, and others. How many others? Huh. I never saw them again. I never knew what happened to them. I could tell myself I wasn't doing any harm, but now that I know for sure... Why did you do it, Lisa? Was it money? Did Gavin pay you? No, it's part of the deal. If you want to operate a shop like mine, you need to make an arrangement with someone like Gavin. So it's a racket. 
does that mean there are others like you? They are all like me. If you refuse, you don't last very long. I've got to leave town. This is getting too big. Not before you tell me where to find Gavin. You really want to do this? Even if you succeed, there are others like him. Um... We'll take care of what we can. Someone has to kill my friend and Hannah. Someone has to stop it. Someone has to stop it. And that someone is you? It's certainly not going to be you, is it? I can't go to the police. There's nobody else but me. My grandfather died today. Yes. He's the only family I had left. I have nothing holding me here. I'm sorry. Spare me. I'll arrange a meeting with Gavin. But give me a few days. I need to leave the city. I don't want to be here when this goes down. Your grandfather would be so proud. Don't judge me here. I'm not brave. I'm just living. That's all any of us are doing. But you're also getting people killed. Just living. This is what she calls living. She's helping us, Joey. Helping herself, more like. Don't forget, that lady's a scam artist. I haven't forgotten. She scammed three people that we know of. She tried to scam you. But she didn't, did she? Damn it, Danny. How could you let this happen? Joey. All that we went through just so she could exist. Joey. What? Ah. Uh. Talking to yourself on the street? You should know better, really. Of course, in this city, who would care? Who the hell are you? You probably are wondering who I am, but I have a feeling you already know. Uh, no idea. No, I have no idea who you are. You honestly don't know? My name is Gavin. Who's Gavin? They said you were smart, but maybe they were wrong. But who's Gavin? Why would anyone know who Gavin is? He's nobody useful. What are you doing here? Well, you've spent so much effort trying to find me, it was the least I could do. The truth is, we've known there was another one of you at work for some time now. We just didn't know who you were. It's been quite a race to see who would find you first. Someone would have found you eventually, but since you put yourself on my radar, I decided to come to you. Well, I'm here. What do you want with me? We are all fascinated by you. A channel between this world and the next. The potential is just waiting to be tapped. You're a commodity, one I plan on using. Um, hmm, no, I'm no lab rat, it doesn't matter. I don't know who your colleagues are, but you're the one that needs to be stopped. Then I suppose this works out in my favor. So you'd kill me, like those girls, like Jeremy. I fed on those girls. Fed? They had all the potential in the world to be happy, but no. They wasted it, squandered it. So I channeled all that positive energy out of them and took it into myself. If they weren't using it, why shouldn't I? There are people who go out of their way to sabotage their own happiness. I merely help them. That's sick. It's kept me alive for two centuries, which is more than I can say for you. Hey. Red? Red, talk to me. Spirit guide, are you there? You're damn right I'm here. She's not dead. It's just a tranquilizer. I need her alive. You don't know how lucky you are. It's a shame we can't get to know each other further. Lisa, I have a package for you. Ugh. Hey, take it easy. Ugh, I can't move. What happened? You got hit with a knockout drug. You're tied up. Don't worry, I'll get us out of here. Somehow. Cool. Cool story, bro. Uh, I am Joey. I can... Hey, let me blow on you a little Not bit, bro. Not sure what blowing on that will achieve. I don't know. <laughs> Looks like an old closet to me. Oh, it would cheer her up? Crammed to bursting point with old boxes. Right. Just a bunch of useless junk. Nothing that can help us. Junk, 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 closet shelf. Just a bunch. Just Trunk. a bunch. What am I supposed to? Uh, there's a broom. All right, let's go out the door. She's just sitting there, awaiting orders like a good little soldier. It didn't have to be this way, Danny. 
Are we gonna kill her? Thanks for nothing, lady. Blow her. I'm not gonna waste my breath on her. Alright. Nothing interesting in there. Are you serious? Or I can come down here. I told you, everything is under control. Must I go over this another time? Looks like Gavin is using Lisa's phone. I'm not sure, to be honest. <laughs>